Imagine the 23rd of December, 2017, the Saturday before last. In the dead of winter, a red Renault Clio 4 quietly whiffed its way up a mountain range in the south of France. Low electronic music played steadily to the muffled humming of the Clio's engine. Inside, the Clio's heater worked tirelessly to warm its passengers to Littleville, as its driver mindfully steered its wheels through the winding paths, wet from the light, almost non-existent but nearly constant rain. The thin, whispery fog that had gathered a few hours ago thickened to the point where only the dull, red rear lights of the car before us were visible. It draped all over the landscape like a soft, weighted blanket, lulling us into something akin to comfort as the Clio climbed its way up and up. And upon reaching the top, like a whale bridging through the water surface for a gulp of fresh air, the heavy white smoke washed over us to reveal what it kept hidden. A canyon, meticulously carved by the Tarn River for years and years and years. A valley nested snugly between two impossibly imposing mountain ranges. A French town, clumsily concealed by the milky water vapor. Little French houses with their little roofs and chimneys poking through the lazy fog into crisp December air, like a page torn straight out of a fairy tale and willed itself into existence. Mio was simply magical. But even more impressive than the summits that overlooked Mio, even more imposing than the great mountainous ranges that enclosed it, and even more captivating than the dreamlike scenery, was something else. In stark white and larger than life, standing loftily above swirling fog as water from the town rushed under its pillars, the engineering masterpiece towering over the whole idyllic landscape was the viaduct of Mio. It was truly breathtaking. It was at the end of August 2021 when we could finally arrange to visit Mio once again. The sky was blue and the sun was high. A constant gentle wind blew through the valley of Tarn and we were set to see the viaduct from every single angle and reachable vantage points. Though I won't ever be able to relieve the moment I saw it for the first time, I thoroughly enjoyed our little vacation. Hope you enjoy the view. <laughs>